Well, hey guys and gals, it's Hex here. And today I've got something for you that is really quite cool. This is a modern treehouse build. So let's take a look around it. I really love this thing. It looks absolutely amazing. Of course, I do have a couple of things going on visually. Uh, number one, I have these uh, connected glass textures going on. Uh, so just from the Vanilla Tweaks website, it's a uh, what like borderless glass and also clear glass where it doesn't have those little lines on it. The other thing I have is I have a shader on. It's kind of hard to tell that I have a shader on, but I have the Builders QOL shader. I will put a card on the screen that will take you to a video that um, has that shader on it. Pretty cool. But anyways, um, this is, yeah, a modern tree house. Now, is it necessarily on a tree? No, but if you look at uh, pictures of tree houses, sometimes they don't actually uh, are attached to a tree. However, you could attach it to a tree if you wanted to, but I decided to go with a, uh, a stand. And the idea of this is that it's up in the trees. And I just think this thing looks absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. I've been having a lot of fun building it and working on it lately. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at a couple of features. The first feature is pretty obvious. It has a lot of glass so that when you're inside of it, you can take a look at the outside and no matter where you are, you're basically surrounded by the treetops. That's why I built this in the jungle because it's sort of like the prettiest tree area, I think. Um, you could also build this in like the taiga or you could build it up over the top of like a birchwood forest or wherever the heck you want to build this thing. You could even build it in the plains and just have a big giant thing sticking out of the plains if you wanted to. But yeah, so that's the first feature. The second feature is that the entire roof is made of trapdoors. So again, you can get this feeling like you are, uh, out, whoa, <laughs> accidentally fell down the stairs. So that you get this feeling of being outside in um, in this treehouse. Uh, another feature is right here, we have just a half glass. So you, again, it gives you this sort of feeling of being outdoors, even though you're inside a building. So it's quite cool. I really love that about it. Um, I decorated this one here for like a modern house. So we've got some features of a modern house. We've got a little modern kitchen. Um, I had to be kind of creative with how I uh, put things because I didn't want to have that, uh, you know, deal like this where you have, um, you know, the glass is like connected out like that. I didn't like that. Actually, with this shader pack and with uh, this, you actually can't see it from the exterior, which is really nice. So if you're looking for something that does that, um, this shader pack of the Builders QOL uh, is working pretty well. But um yeah, but I tried to keep away from doing that as much as possible. So I tried to, uh, you know, as you can look down the side here, you can see nothing is actually touching the glass there. So uh, I've got little, um, a little stand here. I've got a couple of little reading nooks. I thought it would be really cool if you could just sit in here with like a book and you just sat down and could see outside and watch the parrots if there's any. <laughs> Uh, this right here is like the main sitting area and I thought that it would be cool to have a little campfire The only thing I don't like about this shader pack is that the campfire doesn't seem to wave the fire just sort of sits there And that's kind of strange um, But anyways, I thought that that would be kind of cool to have like it, basically you're camping outside, but you're indoors uh, Kind of a feature um, So yeah, there's that uh, Downstairs what I did is I bu built a couple of bedrooms and again another little seating area so down here We've got kind of a nice little seating area, a little lamp, and then we have um, in here a nice bedroom with a few things inside of it, and over here another little bedroom with some things inside of it, like this. Again, I had to be really creative with the walls, so I went ahead and did trap doors um, over the top of slabs that are sort of, um, what, checkerboard like that, and then what that does is it makes it so that the walls, you can't there, nothing's touching the walls. I suppose I could have used uh, solid glass blocks, but I didn't want to. So I thought I wanted the challenge of trying to build an interior without touching the walls. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a couple of little balcony areas here and here. And yeah, it's very cool. Let's go ahead and check out how to build this. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to build a box that is 29 long. So 29 blocks long. It is nine blocks wide, so the width here is nine. 
and four blocks tall. This box is 13 blocks from the ground, so this would be like the 14th block going straight down to the actual ground, not including the leaves and stuff. Um, I recommend that you build it no higher than maybe like 17 blocks and probably no lower than 10 blocks from the ground. Uh, that's kind of like the range that would make the supporting structure underneath look good. Unless you want to build a totally different supporting structure, doesn't matter, but that's um, my recommendation to you. Okay, next you're gonna go ahead and build a second box on top of the first one that is 38 blocks long. So from that corner to this corner, it's 38 blocks. It's also four tall and nine blocks wide this way. Now it's oriented on this other one by being 10 blocks from this corner to here. So this all the way to the corner is 10 blocks. Same over here, so it's centered perfectly. So it's 10 blocks from here to there, okay? And then coming out the back, it is nine blocks. So from here to here, it is a nine block uh, distance. So this is nine blocks long. And then this right here uh, is going to be from there to the very front corner right here, 20 blocks. Okay, so it's 20 blocks to there, all right? Then the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do just to make things a little bit easier is you're going to build right here, um, just continue this across so that it matches there, and then do the same thing on the other side like this. Like that. Next, fill the bottom of the lower rectangle with Smooth stone slabs, so these are all top slabs like this, so that we have a flat floor, and then underneath it, it's recessed up. That saves materials, it also looks better this way to have the slabs. Then go ahead and fill in all three sections of the floor of the upper rectangle also with the smooth stone slabs like this. And so once again, they are the top slabs, so if you go underneath, see that? Go ahead and fill in the walls with some stained glass panes. I'm using blue stained glass panes, but you can use whatever the heck color you like. On the ends though, only fill in the glass panes halfway up to get that little effect that I was talking about where you can go in here and kind of feel like you're on a balcony sort of thing, but you're still inside. If you don't like that, just fill in the whole thing with glass, but I really enjoy that because, especially in the jungle, I enjoy being outside and uh, seeing the pretty terrain and the jungle trees. Okay, then go ahead and fill in the roofs of the two ends that were sticking out from the lower rectangle like this. So basically I've got these smooth slabs, the top smooth slabs all the way around. And then in the center, we have a bunch of these um, iron trap doors that are on the top like this. The top, you're gonna do the exact same thing. So slabs all the way around, smooth stone slabs, and then you've got the iron trap doors in the center. So like that, and then over here, uh, same thing. Okay, next what you're gonna do is you're going to come and you're going to go ahead and right in the middle right here, we're gonna break out uh, that glass and that glass and then I'm gonna put one there and one there and one here and one here to make it look like we've sort of got a glass door that's sitting open. And then the same thing over here. All right, to build these supports, what you're gonna do is right here, so on from the longer end of the upper rectangle, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six back. Then on the seventh one, you're going to place two of the smooth stone full blocks like that. Okay. Then you're gonna come down one and go three. One, two, and three. Then you're gonna come down one and go over two, like that. Then you're gonna do that again. So another two, and then you're gonna do uh, one, like that, and then one more. And then you're gonna come down two, one, two, like that, and break this. Ah! And then you're gonna come down two that's like overlapping. One, and two. And then you're gonna come down, one more block and then take that all the way to the ground, however far that is. 
And looks like I got one more to go there. There we go. All right. So this is where I said like, yeah, there's like a range. And then, so if your ground is a little closer, then you want to go a little bit shorter with this one. If your ground is further away, then you just extend this all the way to the ground. So this ends up being longer or shorter, depending on the uh, height of your ground, if you will. Okay. Then you're going to do that exact thing on the other side of this rectangle. I'm going to have to mow down some trees here. Okay, from the lower rectangle, what you're going to do is you're going to come back two blocks right here, one, two, and then you're going to come two, and then down one, over two. Ah, come on, there we go. And then down one, over one, down one, over one, and then you're going to go here, and then down one, over two, like that, and then you're going to come right here, yeah, and take this all the way to the ground, so basically right there. And then we kind of have this uh, diagonal um, strut right here, if you will. Support, whatever thingy. There we go, like that. Okay. And then what I did on each one of these is I basically came here and then I dug into the ground. And then I made this shape all the way around. Uh, and the reason I did that was just to kind of make it look like this thing had like some sort of a support. It's kind of an extra detail that you probably won't even see, especially since it's sort of buried into the jungle, uh, as I am buried in the jungle. <laughs> like that. But it does, like, if you see that, be like, oh, okay, so there it is, like, supported down there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to do this exact shape from here down. You're going to do the exact shape from here down. And then over here, the same thing. You're going to mirror it on the other side, so you're going to go from here down and from here down. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that. Notice I have that same shape, two, two, one, one, two, and then to the ground. Two, two, one, one, two, and then to the ground. And two, two, one, one, two, to the ground, like that. Now right here, I kind of went down through this tree. Um, it's up to you if you want to like, t how much jungle you want to take out. For me, I love the jungle foliage, so I try to leave it um, if possible, but if you want to tear it out and build something underneath this, like some farmland or something, um, go for it, do whatever you want. Okay. On this little back portion that's coming off the upper rectangle, you're going to start two back again, and then we're going to place two blocks and they're going to go one, one, and then come down two, one, two, and then we're going to come down four, one, two, three, four like that and then take that all the way to the ground from there so one back and then all the way to the ground again here's what i mean about this tree being in the way like that there we go and so then these two should be the same height like that that was why i went down four here and the arch it looks pretty good and then once we put in the uh, slabs it'll look a lot better Okay, same thing over here. I'll show you that again. Maybe it'll be easier to see here. So we go two and then uh, one. I don't know why I did all that. One, two down. Come on. <laughs> I'm not good at placing the blocks. And then one, uh, two, three, four, and then take that to the ground, the next one over like that okay and then whoops like that there we go then what i did is i took my slabs and i put a slab there like that and then i did a slab on the top and bottom of every one that is connected by a diagonal so like right here i put like a bottom slab there i probably would have just left that um, tree right there if i wasn't trying to tutorialize this and same thing here, but just to show you what I'm talking about and then one here and Then I did a slab there just to make that look like it's a little bit more of a connection right there if you want to use a Well, yeah, just do it that way. That's good and then one here and then one there and then one there and 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 one at the very end like that, and then same thing for all of these other ones. 
Okay, there you go. Let's go ahead and do the interior. Uh, what I did in mine is right here. You can either go um, this way or the other way. I think I did kind of the other way like this. So I'm going to break out these slabs right here. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to create a slab stairway going down. So basically one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So right here where we have this concrete going across, what we want to do is we want to create a wall that has a checkerboard to it. And the way that I did it is I built uh, that up there like that. And then you come and you go like this. And then we're going to do it again. And like that. Okay, so basically I built the letter A. And then what I did is you break that and that. And then you're going to place a block there and there. And then here, you're going to place a block here and here, and then we're going to break out all this and put a block there and there, and then break those two. It's like the simplest way to do it. It's kind of difficult. Uh, same thing over here. Mm -hmm. So like this, and then you're going to put a block there and one there. And then, yeah, we'll just come across like this and come across like that and then break these two out and then fix this up like that. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Then what I did is I put uh, the oak trap doors on it like this. So I took some oak trap doors and I just spammed oak trap doors across this whole wall like that. And like that. Okay, then I did the same thing on the other side with the trapdoors, like this, like that. And then I actually left this one. I did that one, but I left this one off so that the stairs go down like that. It's a little jankety. If you wanted to, you could maybe put the stairs going this way, but then you might fall off there. So it's kind of up to you. Oh, and then if you do it that way, you have to break this block. Yeah, so that's a little bit on the funky side, but that's the only funky thing about the entire build, I think. All right, there we go. And then right here, what I did is I took some glass and I went across here and across here to keep the player from falling down the stairs, which is always bad. You don't want to fall down the stairs. All right, then we're going to take this wall and we're going to do the same thing over here to build this out. And then I'll show you the rest of it from the other build. All right, so the kitchen, the way that I did it is I put some iron trap doors across here, one block away from this. So I did one, two, three, four, five iron trap doors, then some trap doors in front of it, except these two I did birch to kind of simulate the oven. And then right here and here as the stove top with some uh, iron pressure plates or I guess heavy pressure plates. Then right here I put an end rod and a single uh, slab right here. The only thing that we can use is these... Um, stone slabs right there because uh, there's already a top slab so we have to put a, a bottom slab there to kind of make a little bit of a lamp to get some lighting in here. Um, then right here, let's see, two away from this and one away from that, I did sort of a U shape of some gray shulker boxes and then put in these two cauldrons with a lever right there as our sink. And then I've got some chairs that are made of oak wood slabs and of course the um, dark oak uh, trap doors there as the backs. And then I did a little lamp over here again with end, two end rods inside of some jungle wood trap doors like that. And then I put um, a slab right there. Uh, might not need that. Maybe that looks better. Nope, doesn't. <laughs> that looks better. There we go. Okay, in this section right here, I just built this little table. It kind of goes right there. Okay, then over here, what I did is I built a lamp right on this crossbar right here. Another one of these um, lamps with the trapdoors. Then in this section, what I did is, let's see, this is three away from the wall. I have three um, just simple, uh, what are they, dark oak slabs, and then uh, a block right there diagonally, and then three, and then a diagonal block three, diagonal block three, and then a three by three circle in the center with a fireplace uh, in the middle. And then what I did to sort of make a chimney is I took out these four or sorry, these five um, iron trapdoors, and I put in 
just the slabs here, the stone slabs, the smooth stone slabs, and then I just left it open in the center so the smoke would go up and out um, of the build so that we didn't have like smoke building up inside the house because that's bad. Then of course I put some leaf blocks over here just to kind of bring a little bit of the greenery inside. I didn't want to overdo that, but I definitely wanted to have it feel like the interior and the exterior were sort of seamless. Uh, so I wanted to bring some green on the inside. Then over here, what I did is I did, um, let's see, two away from this beam. I did these bookshelves, just two tall bookshelves, and then another space of two bookshelf. And then right here, a couple of um, whatever those things are, oak wood stairs. And then we have oak wood trap doors around that. Um, to kind of create a couple of reading nooks. You could also put like a desk or something right here, but I decided to do two different reading nooks. Um, maybe this is like a, a vacation getaway. Maybe it's like some sort of like breakfast and um, like bed and breakfast sort of rental kind of thing um, in the middle of the jungle that somebody's spending $1,000 a night to stay at. Um, yeah. Out here, I did pretty much nothing except we took these glass panes all the way around the exterior like this. And I did that over here just to make it so that, again, you don't fall off the edge on accident. Um, of course, you can jump over the edge, but, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> no jumping. All right. Down here, what I did is uh, I compl after completing this wall, I put a door right here. And then I put a, the same thing over here. In the middle between those, we've got a little seating area with a coffee table and a lamp. These are just, of course, dark oak stairs and then some dark oak slabs. Over here, I did a little bit of a lamp underneath the stair, and then I added in um, a slab there. So it was like that, and then I just added a slab there just for some lighting. In here, a simple bed with a headboard of just the slabs and then two, whoa, <laughs> two uh, oak trap doors like that, and then a chest to keep your blankets and stuff in. Over here, a little desk with a laptop. So all I did for a laptop, this is a button. This is a heavy pressure plate. And then of course we have the desk itself made out of these iron trap doors and some dark oak trap doors. Uh, another little sort of lamp table thing here with um, an upside down um, end rod on it for whatever reason. <laughs> and then I did exactly the same thing over here. And I forgot to mention, um, I did a little flower pot and um, and end rod right there just for some extra lighting and also to bring a little bit more greenery in. Okay, that's the interior. Well, guys and gals, I hope you've enjoyed this modern treehouse. I know I've enjoyed making it and recording the video for you and everything. I hope that you find it uh, something that you might like to put in your world or perhaps find some inspiration from it, or just enjoy a fun video. Anyways, I hope that everyone is doing very well and staying safe from the virus that is attacking everyone. And I just, uh, I hope um, that uh, you're, you're staying indoors and staying away from people and staying away from grandma and grandpa and keeping them safe too. And uh, know that I've been praying for you. Um, maybe you don't want me to pray for you, but I am. And I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, um, more importantly, I hope that you're having a great day and stay safe out there. God bless.